Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial in Canva where you can create a color underlay um, on a photo background. So this technique really comes in handy when you're trying to put text on top of a photo background, but maybe the background is a little bit too busy um, or bold. And so it kind of makes the text hard to read. Um, this also helps create kind of consistent and cohesive um, feel so that you can add your brand colors and they kind of merge with the photo. Um, so this is a good technique for creating Pinterest pins or Instagram posts um, and to help you just keep that feed nice and consistent and feeling on brand. So um, this example right here is actually um, showing you how this can be done and the, like, the final product. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can do this kind of starting from scratch. So I'm going to scroll down here to the end of my document just with like a blank page. And then if you click the background color up here in the top left corner um, you can select any color that you want obviously if you have your brand colors loaded you can just select one of those or any of your document colors um, so go ahead and just pick a color i like this one um, i'm also going to copy and paste the hex code just save it for later because i'll show you a little trick um, so then click off of that and now you have your background color added automatically to the canvas um, and now this is where we want to look for a photo that's on brand. So maybe I want to type, um, uh, let's see, woman working. Um, so I'll look for something that's kind of nice. I like this uh, photo. I think this could be a nice, um, a nice background. Um, obviously, just pick the one that you feel fits most for your brand and the need that you have it for. So um, another little trick that you can do, um, what and why I copied that hex code, um, is you can filter the photos by a certain color. So that hex code that I copied, I can actually copy and paste right in here. Uh, and then say apply filter and then it will only show you photos with a similar type of coloring to that to that hex code so um, this, you don't necessarily have to do this step but it does kind of help create a little bit more um, consistency and um, balance within um, the photo background so if you want to go ahead and pick one if you just click on the photo it'll just be added to the canvas like this and then you have to resize it um, but another little trick that you can do instead is actually click and drag the photo so that it kind of catches to the background and then canva will automatically um, just kind of um, click it to the background if that makes sense so to create the overlay effect then all you need to do is click on the canvas itself and then go over here to transparency and then if you dial the transparency all the way down let's say to somewhere maybe between 30 percent um, it's obviously going to be different for different photos if you have like a bolder or a darker photo you might need to take the transparency down a little bit more um, maybe even all the way down to like 10 percent uh, but since this photo is pretty light i think 30 percent actually will work pretty well for us so you can see that color background kind of coming through but we can also still see the photo a little bit so then this is where you would layer your text on top so i can just go ahead and copy and paste um, just to see and make sure that we get that uh, readability um, so yeah, and then if you wanted to dial it back even more, because you say, okay, this text is kind of light, um, you could turn it down a little bit more, or the other option you could obviously do is just make the text a little bit darker to create some more contrast. So this could be um, a technique where you could do something like this. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, feel free to drop them in the comments or let me know what other types of Canva tips you'd like to see. Thanks.